Hey Sagittarius, I'm doing an experiment to see if this microphone blocks out the background noise with the fan. Because <laughs> it's hot, y'all. It's hot. So since um, the if you watched the first reading, since that kind of focused on some new beginnings that are wanting to come in, I thought I would look at what is standing in your way, Sag. What's, you know, because... As much as we want to see all the uber positive stuff, you know, we also always got to deal with our shadows and our blockages. And so this is a short little reading about what might be blocking you, Sag. I am using the Oracle of Ascendance, which I generally only use for blockages. Um, that's one thing I do as a reader is that I designate decks for certain energies. Yes, I do, Sagittarius. There's a method to my madness. If this is your first time, this channel is just for Sag, and we do all kinds of readings here. Love readings, spiritual readings, career readings, all the things, all the things. And I also offer personal readings, which you can find in my description box. Sagittarius. So, Sag. So this is... Uh, what may be blocking you showed up as Aries, chest, <coughs> and the moon. And the overall energy of this is that <coughs> there's you might want to look at how you're being stubborn. <laughs> because that's Aries energy. And this is specifically dealing with connection itself. Right? Um, it kind of is an indicator of... For one, you may still be isolating too much, holding yourself apart from others. And um, and maybe even being a little too demanding, a little too stubborn in what you expect. You know, um, it kind of is like that doesn't give space to move and you might be literally expecting too much. And, and with chest, it's telling you to get out there. It's telling you to take action. It's telling you to connect with people. And, you know, they're kind of asking you to do this during the new moon. And it's really interesting because if you've been listening to me, um, the nodes are changing on the 17th. That's also when the new moon is. And so, you know, the... It, Aries is all about action. It's about Mars, you know, and, you know, are you coming off too controlling to people because of what you expect? Are you coming off cold? Are you coming off, um, you know, with Mars too combative? I mean, that's what this is all about connection for you. And it really tells you that you might be a little interestingly enough I, which is an energy I don't really associate with Sagittarius but it's about being stuck in your ways and really stuck in what you expect Sagittarius does have high, high expectations for people and I feel like that can be at times our biggest disappointment when it comes to people like people not meeting our expectations and so from time to time we need to examine are our expectations too high are we being too controlling? You're also, you know, it's also telling you to get out there, Saj. But we are seeing that you're going to be moving in a new way. So, you know, this could, you know, just maybe give you that, that nudge to think about it. Think about, are you, are your expectations reasonable? You know, um, like they, often they might seem reasonable to us. But are they reasonable to other people? Just saying. <laughs> and the moon is what would help. So, you know, examining this is telling you maybe where you can lighten up. Maybe where you can loosen up or adjust, right? And and there really is this energy, Sag. I don't know what it is. Like, and about with the nine of pentacles, like, I don't need anybody. I don't need anything. I don't need anybody. I got this all by myself. So there kind of is this energy of hyper independence, right? With the Nine of Pentacles. You know, um, 
And what, what's happening is that it may be blocking opportunities, like with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, Sagittarius also has trouble accepting help. And there actually are people that want to offer you opportunities, who want to open doors for you, or even, you know, just be with you, you know, or help you with the Three of Pentacles. Like, this is really about you, like, not doing everything yourself, telling you you don't have to do everything yourself. You can lean on other people. You, And that may be, you know, what's been happening. It doesn't come from nowhere. It definitely comes from a place of being disappointed from people. But now it's kind of telling you, you know, that this whole energy you have, although the Nine of Pentacles is a great energy in terms of, having what we need and resources what it's really telling you is that there are other people here who want to offer you resources Sag, who want to offer you help who you know and you might be too stuck in this i got this all by myself energy you know you might be what might be blocking you is just being open to accept collaboration you know, with collaboration, that means we can't do everything ourselves. That we have to actually trust that other people will show up. And, you know, it's really hard for you, you know, and because with the Nine of Swords and the King of Wands, like, it's really hard for you to do this. And it really kind of puts you in your head, like, with the Nine of Swords, it's about worrying you know how it will work out it's it's basically you know also i feel the strong energy of like it's the worry that things will go wrong and it might be focusing too much in that what if energy you know what if they betray me what if they um you know hurt me what it, you know and with the King of Wands, the King of Wands wants you to see things differently, wants you to have a new vision, wants you to, you know, but what if it works out? You know, that that's what a true leader, and, and the King of Wands is a true leader, believes in the people around them, believes that the support will be there for them. A leader doesn't lead by himself, no matter what anyone says. So, you know, instead of worrying if people are going to to hurt you or to fuck it all up, you know, there's a new vision, there's a new mindset that is wanting to come in for you. And literally all you have to do is open the door, Sag. You know, it's not like you have to do something to make these people work together or to make them show up for you. It's just about you being open to receive it, you know, to receive it. And, you know, it's like, then we have the King of Swords with the Two of Cups. I mean, you may have been holding yourself back from partnership, from working with others, from, you know, and it comes from the thought that, you know, you, because of everything that's happened, because of what you've had to walk away from, because, you know, you've had to, like, really let go of a lot of pain. A lot of ways in which you've been betrayed. Um, a lot of ways in which people just didn't care about the fact that you were hurt. Or damaged. Or, you know. And so, now, the solution is the King of Swords. You know, taking a step back and really thinking at things logically. And really realizing that there are people that you can align with. There are people that... And really, you might even want to look at the people in your life and see that, yes, you know, I do have people who who are in sync with me, you know, and that there, I do know that there are people that will align with me, you know, that I can trust. It won't always be like that, like, and especially with the Ten of Swords kind of telling you, it's over. You can let that go now. And really don't focus on what hurt you. Focus on what is what is trying to come in to help you. Okay, Sag. There's your lecture.
<laughs> Six of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Three of Wands. This is all part Sagittarius. This is part of what you've always wanted. Okay? Six of Wands, the High Priestess, and, and the Three of Wands. You know, we're seeing threes again. <laughs> But this is like definitely your way of stepping into a new way of being where you trust your own judgment. You know, sometimes when we get hurt by people, we we tend to for a while, tr you know, not trust our own instincts. And now you're you know that the key to success here is trusting your instincts, is trusting your intuition, you know, um, and trusting the uncertainty. Definitely. And really putting yourself out there even though you know there's a possibility that you can get hurt. There always is, Saj. <laughs> there literally always is. Ten of Cups, it's here for you. The King of Pentacles. The Three of Swords reversed. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. It's really telling you that you're stepping into a time where everything is changing. Where you are actually attracting pure happiness and a complete turnaround that involves stability you know and the king of pentacles like this has kind of been a long time in coming you know you're attracting loyal people who make good decisions and it's really telling you that you can now you can let go of the pain because that the pain is not part of what's coming for you that is changing okay that is over the problems are over. The pain is over. The heartbreak is over, Sag. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands and the Strength card and Temperance. Oh my gosh, Sag. You're moving into a time that is literally so amazing. It's kind of like as soon as you change this mindset, as soon as you move on from that you're getting the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups a complete turnaround that makes it's like i don't know how else to say it but you're getting everything you want because you put the work into doing that right and believing that and the eight of wands is moving on past your your obstacles like the obstacles are over like, and that's what you have to, like, that might even be what you need to think about. Are you still setting expectations that come from a hurt place, that come from a place in which people have done you wrong? Because now you're being led to just believe that people will do you right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Sagittarius. <laughs> so, let's see. What your advice is, Sag. What is Sagittarius' advice? What is Sagittarius' advice from their guides? Eight of Pentacles reversed. You don't need to do anything, Sag. <laughs> Oh gosh, you don't need to do anything. Oh my God, the seven of cups reversed, the lovers reversed, right? What's over is over, the confusion's over, there's nothing you need to do, there's no work you need to put to do in order to attract this. They're telling you to just receive it. Just receive it, Sagittarius. Yay, I love this. Okay, Sag, toodles. <laughs>